let's just talk, given that much of the discussion I suspect over the next day is going to talk about, about carbon and the kind of carbon right. overlay with a lot of this. Um, so just to Doug's point, is, is that decision motivated by uh, a view of uh, impending environmental problems or regulation, or is it motivated by a notion that coal, for other reasons, is just a bad bet? So, I mean, a little bit of history is helpful. I think it has to be almost a dozen years ago. I think Mike Bruin and, and some of the environmental community came to Wall Street and said, you guys are, you know, can't finance coal. And indeed, we'll hear from Mike Bruin tonight. I'm sure we will. Um, <laughs> and actually, I think there was an incredibly constructive outcome called the carbon principles. And it, it has incrementally gotten more stringent and more defined over time. I think where, this, where Wall Street is now is we can control our own businesses. I mean, we have Leeds buildings, we have incredibly uh, environmentally sensitive uh, philosophy within Morgan Stanley. On the client side, I and mean, we cover every industry in every country, and therefore, you know, there's gonna be differences in those policies depending on emerging markets versus developed markets. We are of the view now that, um, you know, when something is clearly environmentally hazardous, we are not gonna participate, and that, that takes, uh, all kinds of forms. It could be barrier reef issues. It could be. Um, but wait a second. Wait a second. Just to Doug's coal. point, you, you haven't said you're not going to participate. You're not going to participate where there's no building. You're going to participate where there is building, which is in the developing world, right? Because there's no choices. Look, okay. we, we fundamentally have to allow economies to continue to grow and people to have standard of living. You can't go to some places in the world and not burn fossil fuels. They're just not an economic alternative. And so there has to be some flexibility in that policy to be able to help those economies, governments, and companies continue to, to grow. Now, over time, they'll come under the same constraints, I'm sure, that the developed countries are now. 